Briar, did she just... Go through her own door? Yeah, she totally did. Damn. Well, if the fearless leader's okay with it, then I'm in. I'm opening Jack's door. Why my door? Why not yours? Psh, you know me, Jack. Why would I want to keep anything in my life a secret? I'd feel like I was depriving people of all the good stuff. Well, I'm just fine depriving people. Because trust me, you're not ready for what's in there. Oh yeah, I'm so scared to see your two whole secrets. Oh gee. What? I can't hear you over the creaking of the opening door. Well, howdy there, partner. I have people. Holy! Okay, not what I was expecting. Hey, I warned you. I don't know whether to be horrified or impressed with you right now. Would you two cut it out? Time's running out, and now Pryor's stuck on the other side of that door doing God knows what. We've gotta move! No offense, seriously, but if all of Miriam's secrets are in here, should we be worried for our safety? I could not tell you. The smoke is not a good sign. Nor is the ominous chanting. Fire? Over there! Briar! Back off! Sorry, I... I had to know how much he heard about... Oh god! Oh no. Briar, is this about the... Uh, how you grew up? Yes. I thought I'd said everything I needed to say about it, but I guess I was wrong. Hey, so, uh, I can tell this is a very poignant moment here, but I have to ask, what's with all the water and fish stuff? Algae! Okay, I'm starting to not appreciate how everyone keeps doing that. No, it's okay. Orville clearly knows. Might as well tell everyone else. When I grew up... The cult my family belonged to did some really messed up things. But maybe not like you thought. It was called the Disciples of the Deaths, and they worshipped a lesser known but supposedly powerful eldritch god. I already mentioned how the elders mistreated people, but god, there's really no way to say this without sounding insane. Certain kinds of sacrifices were common for worship. When I had Rachel, I wasn't just shunned for being an unwed mother. Apparently in their eyes I was suddenly an unworthy offering. Not that I was lined up for that anyway, but foresight wasn't exactly a strength with these people. I knew I had to get Rachel away from the death and destruction. <sighs> All for some promised land bullshit, courtesy of the almighty Faishis Wimsi. Wait, what was that? Faishis Wimsi, the aforementioned eldritch nightmare creature. Fishy swims. Fishy swims? You're telling me the big scary monster's name is Fishy Swims. <laughs> no, that's not how you... You know, I'm bearing my soul here, and yet you're messing with me. Yeah, but it made you laugh, didn't it? <laughs> okay, but my childhood was still traumatizing. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I'm... I'm sorry about that. Really. You know I moved Rachel and me to a seaside town just to really stick it to those assholes? Prove I wasn't scared? <laughs> I don't doubt it for a second. We should get out of here. This place is a little too creepy. Even for Orville. Another dead end. How much longer do you think we have before this all falls apart? Yeah, I don't think you want to hear my answer to that. <gasps> Ooh, a Ginny door. There has to be something in Orville's mind about me this time. Huh. Locked? Darn it!
Off to Orville's Inner Myself We Go. Off to Orville's Inner Myself We Go. Did not think far enough ahead with this lyric. Off to Orville's Hold it! No, oh, really? I didn't think it was that bad. I could have gotten another 30 verses lined up. It no, not that. We're here. Huh. I thought the place would be... bigger? Or at least slightly impressive looking. This is the entire point of our daring quest to save a friend, you know. It's good the way it is. Let's go in. Dang, it's dark in here. Really wish I had a light right now. Or maybe... This is a parallel dimension, even if it is in Orville's head. The way logic's been going so far, I bet... I thought that might work. Now we can actually get a good look around the... This is a kid's bedroom. Uh-huh. You said this is where the innermost self is supposed to be. Uh-huh. You aren't Oroville's inner child, are you? No. You're the innermost self. You are Orville. I was wondering when you'd figure it out. No offense, but it took you longer than I thought. But you... small. You know, everyone has a mindscape of some kind. It's part of the whole mind-reading thing. You can navigate through it all and maybe even see somebody else's innermost self. And everyone's is different. Like, Miriam's inner self, for example, is even fiercer than she is, but is somehow also easier to reason with. And then you have somebody like Carlton who is much more subtle and sensitive on the inside than he likes to let on. Or Algernon, a little simple but surprisingly strong. And then you have some people who, even if they don't show it, are really just vulnerable and overwhelmed and afraid. Like a scared little kid. Yeah. <laughs> but not everyone is so complicated, deep down. Some people are so genuine and brave that they show you exactly who they are. The same inside and out. People like Ginny. She'll always let you know how she feels and will try to help you do the same. I guess that's why I... But then you ruined it. Me? If I remember correctly, and I am fully sounding like a malfunctioning repetitive audio feed at this point, but I was helping! How could helping your friends ruin anything? Because you didn't listen to me! I asked you, no, I told you, to stay out of my relationship with Jenny, and you ignored me! And it's not just me. You do this to everyone. Every time somebody tries to tell you something, you only hear what you want to hear. So what you're saying is, the way I interact with people can be slightly problematic? It's selfish, Frank! And you know, it might not have been so bad if you'd at least apologized for it, but you couldn't even do that! All of this is your fault! But you keep denying that you did anything wrong, and that makes it feel so much worse! Right, because you know all about feelings. I know enough to realize when somebody ignores them. Except when that somebody is yourself. You can't be afraid of your feelings forever. Yes, I can. Wait, what? I said, yes, I can! <laughs> <laughs> um, Orville? No, just get away from me! But I... You want to help? Yeah, I think we both know how that goes. Why don't you finally take the hint and leave me alone? Orville, wait! <laughs> oh. That's the sixth wave in the last five minutes. Then we'll just have to move faster. Hey, uh, Pryor, uh, about what happened back there in the Secret Sanctum or whatever. Carlton, when I said move faster, that included avoiding small talk. Fine, fine, because that's not what this is, and I'll, I'll make it quick. That probably wasn't easy for you, but damn, did you kick that trauma's ass. Wow, I'm really not good at this. No, you're not. Is that it? N no, I am... Um, what I want to say is... 
I, I know you've been hurt before, and I'm the kind of guy who cares enough about his friends to make sure nothing bad happens to them. And, uh, I guess if you want to know the real reason why I was pissed about you and Dulcie, well, there it is. I mean, still a little irritated that you went for my private investigator, of all people. Seriously, of all the people you could have gone for. <sighs> there better be a but coming. Uh, y yeah, right, sure. Um, but I just don't want you to get hurt again. That's all. Carlton. Yeah? Shut up and move. Oh, thank God. That was all the sappy stuff I'd come up with. Well, I think you could have kept going. It was so cute. Like, you should tell her. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? You mean algae crying? You know we're not entirely doomed yet, right? Um, that's not me. It's coming from behind this rock. At least, I think it's a rock. <laughs> Little Orville. Ginny, I... I didn't... I didn't want you to see me like this. Like what? A crying little kid? I think we all look like that sometimes. No reason to be ashamed of it. You're not just Orville's inner child, are you? Uh... How'd you know? No idea. Maybe the mind-reading thing works both ways, huh? <laughs> I don't think so. Then maybe it's just that I've gotten to know you. Pretty well, actually. Like enough to know that all of this has to do with a lot more than just you and me. Right? I guess it does. To point out the obvious, I never really made a habit of connecting with people. Not since I was, well, not in a very long time. But once I became a part of Heinous Investigations and really got to know everyone, got to know you, I suddenly felt this, this pressure, like this unspoken expectation that I had to be as emotionally volatile as everybody else. I didn't like it very much, especially not when every once in a while I actually liked feeling something. I didn't really know who I was anymore. Not sure if I know now. Hey, Jenny, not to intrude on your little sharing sesh right now, but we're sort of on a time crunch here. Think you could hurry it along? Shush! Orville, would it make you feel better to know that you're not the only one who feels that way? Really? Uh, have you looked at this group? We're basically one giant mixed bag of uncertainty. Okay, actually, I think Algy might be a little too secure in who he is, but nobody else. Not even me. You? But I've seen how you think. You always let people know exactly how you feel. It doesn't mean I'm not feeling confused, especially after today. I mean, I know you're going through a lot right now, but if I can come clean here, do you know how annoying it is for a girl to finally get a look inside the head of a guy she's into, and the only thing she gets out of it is a bunch of flowers? So annoying! <laughs> oh, you went into the Hall of Objectivity, huh? <laughs> What's so funny? You know, when you look at those flowers at just the right angle, you spell something out, right? They... wait, what? What do they spell? Talk to her. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Yeah, like I said, you've really had an effect on me. And maybe that's okay. It's more than okay. Just know you've never had to feel pressured to be anything other than yourself because that's the person I, we, psh, we, all of us, love. Feel better? <sighs> I think so. Then again, maybe not. Oh no, Frank! Frank? What about Frank? I left him out in the farthest corner of the mindscape by himself! He could be in real danger by now. We have to go and get him.
Dang it, Frank. How come you always have to screw things up? Little but not actually little Orville was right. You should have listened. And also probably shouldn't have given him an untested substance. Come on, Frank! He's not just another experiment. He's your friend! Or at least he was your friend. <laughs> but the way things are going, maybe that's all about to become real irrelevant. Welp, I did not think this is the way I was going to go, but at least I can do it on my own terms. Which in this case is cannonballing into a person's conveniently located subconscious. Take me, infinite mind void! Frank, stop! Hmm? Huh? Step away from the ledge! But I was having a dramatic moment! I, I did the soliloquy and everything! You realize that we aren't doomed yet, right? Ignore that! Why are you trying to help me? Based on how things went down before, I thought you'd never want to see me again! Ugh, again with the drawn-out heart-to-heart? -heart? Still in danger here! Wrap it up already! Shut up! They're bonding. Because... And yes, I'm fully aware of the irony here. You're my friend. And I don't want to see you get hurt. Aw, oh, well, if that isn't a satisfying resolution to this conflict, I don't know what. Satisfying! Oh, for Dios! Whoa! <laughs> that was a close one! Really thought I was going to fall into the void there. Nope, never mind, it's happening. Ah! No! <laughs> Uh, what happens if you jump into your own subconscious? Is a question I don't know why you'd expect any of us to know the answer. Well, it looks like we're about to find out. Take cover! But Frank and Orville, we have to get them back! To where? The whole place is falling apart! I can't believe this is how it ends! Crushed by some creepy guy's collapsing psyche! I DESERVED BETTER! Don't call me creepy. Woohoo! Looks like my pal Orville just kicked some metaphysical ass! Saved me and the Mindscape in one foul swoop! Now that's what I call a dramatic moment! Thank you. I'm going to stop levitating us both now. Oh yeah, do what you want, it's your mind. Orville! Um... Sorry, I'm a hugger. I know. I guess your internal crisis is over, huh? I knew you had it in you. Thanks. Apparently going on a madcap adventure through the deepest parts of my mind with you guys gave me all the closure I needed. Forgiving Frank enough to save him from an eternity in my subconscious definitely helped, though. But you were right! All this was my fault! I should have backed off when you asked me to, which in hindsight probably would have been more helpful than driving you into a mental downward spiral. P point is, I'm sorry. Actually, that downward spiral might have been what I needed after all. I had to figure some things out, and I did. Thank you for trying to mess with my life. But never do it again. You got it, friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, I'm a hugger too. I had a feeling... Please stop. Okay! Hey, Orville, so now that you're... you again, do you think you can get us out of here? Please? Sure. I've actually never done this before. Eh, it'll probably be fine. Okay. For once, I'll agree with you. Really? For this? Orville, if you mess this up, I swear to- <gasps> What the hell was that? Oh, we're back. Thank God. You could say that again. I don't know about the rest of you, but I need a drink. I have learned far more than I ever wanted to know about how people's minds work today. Yeah, I don't know how Orville puts up with hearing that kind of stuff all the time. I think when it comes to Orville, there may be some things science cannot answer. Ah, who am I kidding? Now that we're on the same page, the possibilities are endless. Orville, are you awake? You, you got us back. We're okay. Orville? I'm okay. Oh, good. I'm glad. Ginny. Uh-huh? I think you have a good idea now of my relationship with emotions. 
if you don't see whatever this is between us going anywhere because of that. Orville, I promise you that as long as we're together, I will never care about your feelings. That is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Aww. <laughs> if you say so. So, can we finally have that picnic now? It's past midnight. Orville! Okay. Hey fellow investigators, want to help support the show? Feel free to follow us on social media and check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash wildlypods for all kinds of fun bonus content. Heinous Investigations was created, written, and directed by Jessica Castro, featuring the voices of Dio Garner, David Manuele, Emily Folger, Elena Garcia, Tuan Nguyen, Bryce Riffle, AJ Somerville, Maria Elizabeth Burns, Naomi Park, Jamie Forney, Megan Lundquist, and Jessica Castro. Sound design, editing, and mixing by Owen Thornton. Heinous Investigation's spooky theme song written and arranged by Jordan Castro with instrumentals by Lucas Urbina. Promotional media by Tom Bellick. Thanks for listening and happy investigating! <laughs>